שלום, לך לך. אדר שמח, פורים שמח, I hope you're doing wonderfully. We are so excited for Purim, just a few days away. We've been anticipating for quite a while from Adar Aleph, now Adar Bet, and finally, just a few days away, we'll be celebrating Purim. One of the central themes of Purim, discussed in the Babylonian Talmud, in the oral tradition that we've been gifted from our ancestors, from our parents, from our sages, the topic of Ein Bein Ela. There's no difference between two similar topics aside from the difference. So this topic, this concept is introduced by Ein Bein Adar Aleph Ladar Bet Ela. If somebody accidentally celebrates Purim a few weeks ago in Adar Aleph, they forgot there's, it's a leap year, there's going to be a second Adar, or they didn't even know, then have they fulfilled the mitzvah of Purim, or do they need to celebrate again in Adar Bet? So the Mishnah teaches that indeed they've fulfilled some of the mitzvot of Purim, but they haven't fulfilled reading the Megillah and giving gifts to the poor. That is the difference between first Adar and second Adar. If somebody is celebrated in both, then they need to fulfill the reading of the Megillah and giving gifts to the poor in the second because they haven't fulfilled their mitzvah in the first. This propels us into a conversation of Ein Bein Ela. There's no difference between two similar topics aside from the difference we're speaking about. There's no difference between Shabbat and a holiday. And Yom Tov, aside from this difference, Ocha Nefesh Bilvad, eating, uh, uh, cook, cooking food for us to eat, which is allowed on the holiday, not allowed on Shabbat. There's no difference, the next Mishnah says, between a, ned- a neder and a nedaba, an offering that's given as a vow and an offering that's given as a voluntary offering. Aside from the one difference, Achayut, that if the voluntary offering is lost, it doesn't need to be replaced. But if the vow offering is lost, it doesn't need to be replaced. In any case, the list goes on. Ein bein ela, there's no difference aside from. Now, what's weird about this topic is that it is completely paradoxical. There's no difference aside from a big difference. So why did you tell us that there was no difference? There's a big difference. So they're actually really quite different. So are they the same, there's no difference, or are they entirely different? Now, we know this to be central to the theme of Purim as well, because one of the primary mitzvahs of Purim is Ad lo yada ben haman inish One is required to become intoxicated potentially, to become spiced up, literally to become spiced, until they don't know the difference between Aro Haman, cursed is Haman, and blessed is Mordechai. What? You're crazy? How could we not know the difference between Aro Haman, cursed is Haman, and the opposite of it? Baruch Mordechai, blessed is Mordechai. And what's interesting is that if we must come to a state of mind, a consciousness in which we don't know the difference, seemingly, that assumes that there is a difference. So what is it? Is there no difference? Or is there a difference? Ein bein, ela. There's no difference except for the difference. Ad lo yada. We must get to a consciousness in which we don't know the difference that there is. See, this world, life, is paradoxical. There's a lot of conflict, and there's a lot of unity. There's separateness, and there's togetherness. There's I, and there's you, and there's us. Are we us? Are we a we? Or is it I and you, separate? Well, the truth is both. To achieve this consciousness requires getting out of our normal lifestyle. You know, we can do that by the besume of Purim, and I hope we all do. But you can also do it by taking a step back from our lives and going into the woods. You know, I think if you are a journeyer like me, you've experienced the holding of paradox that the wood, that the, that the woods, that the wilderness provides. Are we one or are we all separate and unique? Now, on the one hand, standing on that mountain, we are one. We are together. This world is an organism made up of organisms, but an organism as a whole. And when I'm in the forest and I'm among the trees and I look down at the mycelium, I look down and see the mushrooms, I look down and see the moss, and I look down and see the little ant, whoa, we're so unique. 
each with its own flavor, each with its own shape, each with its own design, each with its own breath. We are one and we are separate. It's a consciousness that's impossible to hold, that we can't really understand, but maybe this poem, and maybe on your next journey with us, next journey by yourself, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to really hold this paradox that I don't know, but I know that I don't know. L'chaim, have a wonderful poem. I'll speak to you soon.